True Natures by Scott Marchewski and you know I'm not going to say anything about it, I'm just going to let it happen. <laughs> Okay, now that I've been thoroughly embarrassed, it's your turn. You better make it good. Well, so I was uh, 16. Some friends and I decided uh, we to go to have a camping trip in the middle of nowhere for us. While my friends were asleep in the dead of night, I wandered off for adventure scene. I ended up falling down a <coughs> ravine and getting face to face with the biggest beast of a wolf you could ever, <laughs> ever imagine. Would you remind me again how this is a losing your virginity story? Oh, well, well, it was a sexy wolf, and I am. Uh, a <laughs> no, no, no. The wolf bit me on my stomach and ran off. So I took off my shirt, and I used it to stop the bleeding. Then I went looking for any sign of humanity, as I was completely lost. So after about two hours, I, I saw a tent in the distance. So I ran over it, I poked my head in, and what did I see? Two beautiful, naked, Swedish twins making out. He's nice <laughs> <bring it> <laughs> Just because mine sounded like it's from a crappy teen romance novel doesn't make it any less true. Oh, now mine doesn't sound as exciting. Uh, well, we'll just have to make some new stories. He leans over and starts kissing her. Just when it starts getting hot and heavy, Jackson grabs his head in extreme pain. No! No! No, not now! Ah, oh, not again! He bolts out from the couch. Wait, what's, should I call 911 or something? Uh, he struggles his way toward the bedroom door. No, 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 you, you should go! Ah, I'll see you tomorrow! Jackson's, who was unaware of his condition. Uh, yeah, I was his girlfriend, actually. 
Oh, but I know how that feels. Don't hold it against Jackson. Most women find it hard to accept that there's that their boyfriend has a gay werewolf inside them. Tell me about it. It's just, it's just the college I fought for the rights of all demon Americans, but this is the first time I've actually kept a face to face with any. You know, I know what you mean. It's it's like the first time I was at a human barbecue. I, I was like, I'm supposed to like this? Oh, wait, was it hosted by humans or you had humans? That's not important. <laughs> What's important is I got used to it, you know? But I, I mean, it, you know, it takes time. Time? I've lived with this thing 15 years inside of me and I still hate his ass. I mean, most of his own ass. Well. Love his ass, but he's still a douche. I mean, how am I ever gonna find Mr. Wright with that monkey up my perfectly sculptured ass? Jackson is no monkey. He's a good man, and you must, you and him must find a way to work together. Thank you, Dr. Phil. But I'd rather cut off my tumor than learn to live with it. I just wish I was like all the gay werewolves, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like this one time I, I ripped into this evil vampire's sternum, I right? I don't think you got what I mean. No, 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 it's, it's totally relevant. So the guy was like, no, please, I, no, I have a family. And I was like, rub it in my face, why don't you? <laughs> We should all go clubbing. Uh, I don't. Oh, come on. There's no better way to first experience something than to jump in the deep end. And for how long we can find many penises. Or is it peni? <laughs> Wish I knew. <laughs> um, I guess I could go for a stiff drink right about now. Uh, I could go for a stiff. Uh, Alan! <laughs> Second. Okay, let's go. You will love this place, Tabitha. They have free oh, unicorn geez. testicles on ladies. <laughs> <laughs> 